these um, signs, murals, they all tell the story across Maryland. The Eastern Shore, Southern Maryland, Baltimore City, they tell the story of why we protest. The staff of the museum went looking for images, photographs, murals, paintings, and other items from the activists. They put them together in an exhibit called Make Good Trouble, Marching for Change. You've asked a lot of young artists to participate in this process. Why bring them into this? Well, because this is a story about now. So, of course, our museum is about the past. We have 400 years of Maryland African American history. We're also about the future, but right now we're about the present. And in the present, this is a movement that's a part of our history that needed to be captured now. One of those whose work is on display is Kyle Pompey, a photographer. I just like to show the emotion, the raw emotion, and, and I like to show contrast. So like if I can find joy in the pain, I want to try to get the joy in the pain. Single thing that was bringing them all together? Yeah, just, just uh, unity, like, you know, just humanity at this point. Like it, it, would, it was almost more of other cultures than it was of our culture down there. And it, it was a shock in a certain way, but it didn't seem like phony, you know, like it, it was really authentic, you know, everybody just was out there for the same common cause and it was amazing. It's not unusual for the Reginald Lewis Museum to have exhibits like this. But this one seems a little personal. When you see a picture of a child saying, when do I change from cute to scary? That's a message. When uh, you say, make racism wrong again, that's a message. There are a number of lessons to be learned about where we are in our society on the issue of race. The exhibit was inspired by Congressman John Lewis of Georgia. He would always say, never be afraid to make some noise and get in good trouble, necessary trouble. In Baltimore, I'm Charles Robinson for State Circle.